Babuji Maharaj also, in his wisdom, recommended that though Patanjali Maharaj has recommended to start this yogic practice with yama, niyama, all the steps are there. But Babuji Maharaj chose that let's begin with dharana, dhyana and samadhi. Patanjali Maharaj, I think, if he was around today, perhaps he would have earned Nobel Prize if people had understood what he had in his times, created a masterpiece, Ashtanga Yoga. As such, the steps look very simple, but they are revolutionary in nature. Yama, Niyama, Asan, Pranayam, Pratyahar, Dharana, Dhyana and Samadhi. Dharana, Dhyana and Samadhi and the first five, they have a different role to play. When we have understood Patanjali these eight steps, then we can understand the genius behind uh, the entire thing. Babuji Maharaj also, in his wisdom, recommended that though Patanjali Maharaj has recommended to start this yogic practice with yama, niyama, all the steps are there. But Babuji Maharaj chose that let's begin with dharana, dhyana and samadhi. That's another masterpiece. Why? When we begin with dharana and immerse ourselves in dhyana, going beyond the mind, attaining samadhi, we are moving from the center of our being and touching the outermost frontier of our mind. The journey is from within, from the center of our being, the progress is from inward to outward. While the first five steps, yama, niyama, asana, pranayam, pratyahar, these are all from outside to inside. For example, when you do pranayam, what happens there? You are slowly breathing. Your attention goes from outward breathing to inward. When you are appreciating the beauty of yama and niyama, you are immediately taken inward from the superficial understanding of ahinsa or satya or aparigraha. It takes you straight in when we try to contemplate on the meanings of each steps of yama and niyama. Think over it. Just for a moment, think over ahinsa and what it means to you. And see if this very thought can change your consciousness and take you inward. Aparigraha, or speaking the truth, or remaining content. You may not be content, but just thinking about contentment and see how you feel inside. Similarly, when you sit quietly in asana, in a very comfortable asana, one that makes you feel good, that is asana. Sukham sthiram asana. If it gives you stress, then that is not asana for you. We have to master that until it becomes sukham for you. Pratyahar is a conscious effort on our part as we advance towards yoga. It's to draw all our attention. Our awareness that is going in multiple directions. Slowly bring them inward. Or so many attention which is outward, we draw it one by one. And that can happen only when you have one single goal in mind at a time. Anyway, this is a great thing. And we can appreciate the beauty of all these steps. First five steps, they make us move from outside to in. From outward approach to inward. And the last three steps are from the center, the core of our being to outward. And the entire path becomes very clear. The whole thing gets enlightened. The entire being gets enlightened. There is no more path now. Everything 
becomes the destination. Thank you.